Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Uh, if you're in the chat, make sure you stop by and say hi. We are doing a Pokemon TCG unboxing today. I just want to throw a disclaimer out there. This video uh, is intended towards an older audience uh, above the age of 13. This is uh, for, for collectors like myself. Um, so this video is not made directly for kids. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there as usual with this channel. What's up, Adrian Luna, Team Monster FN, Haley Whalen, Freddie Hans, Thomas Moyes, Chewy Boy 2019, Super Heck Flores, James Banos, Jimmy Del Cid, Edward Sanchez Productions, Paul Armendaris, Mr. Teacher Man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here with the brand new TCG set, Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. Pascal, yes, I did see Wave 6. We'll talk about stuff uh, as I open things up. We'll have a conversation, uh, definitely. But I just wanted to jump into this. So I decided, um, after I saw the cards that were in this set, that I thought it would be worth trying to pick up um, pick up the set here, because I thought it would be really, really fun. And actually, let me grab something real quick. I forgot to get it. Uh, give me a second while I do this. I should have better prepared for this. Um, give me a second. Uh, oh, and I guess I didn't get my card sleeves. Um, okay. Do I still do Power Rangers? Yes, I do. I actually posted some Power Rangers reviews recently. Uh, so make sure you check them out on the channel. So, the big thing about this set is the Charizard. I think this Charizard's in it. I know this Charizard is, the Charizard VMAX. This is the main card right here that we're trying to get. So I got the Japanese one because in Japan it's actually pretty easy to get this card. You just buy the Charizard theme deck and it has it in it. Um, but in the U.S., it's in the boxes. And so that's it's a little harder to pull. And so I want to pull... The Charizard VMAX. That's obviously, like, the, the big card of the set. Beyond that, Eternatus, of course, is super, super cool. Um, and so definitely, you know, got some good cards to pull in the set. Do I still do Nintendo Switch reviews? Yes, I do. I just, I usually do Joy-Con videos, but there haven't been any new Joy-Cons, so there's not really a video for me to make. That being said, I do have a video coming up soon of... I haven't actually opened it yet, but it's uh, from Super Rare Games. It's the Graceful Explosion Machine. They sent me a copy of this game, so I'll be doing an unboxing of this and probably some gameplay soon. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to filming that. So that is a Nintendo Switch-related video on the way. All right, anyways, back to this. So here's what I did. I actually bought two booster boxes, but I don't think I'm going to open up all of this today. It's just not enough time. It takes too long. So one box I'm going to save for later. So today, I'm going to open up one box, but then I thought, why not also open the Elite Trainer box, because this has got, like, the special themed stuff and everything, so that way, you know, we space it out. So we got this video, and then we'll do one more soon. I don't know, maybe it'll be later in the weekend, maybe it'll be next week, I, I don't know yet, but, uh, but just keep an eye out for that. So let's jump into the Elite Trainer box first, right? Let's, let's get down to the goods and see what is inside this box. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, this box is actually kind of cool looking. Uh, my day was not too bad, Adrian Luna. I, I did have work today, so just kind of, you know, doing stuff with work. Um, Mohammed Hamza, wait. Hamza, are you... Are you the, the, the Hamza that I'm thinking of? Or I have a cousin with that exact name. Are you my cousin? <laughs> I guess is, is the question I'm trying to ask. Or are you, um, are you a different Hamza? Um, no, you wish you were. Uh, okay, well, hey, that, that's cool, though. Uh, to answer your question, yes, I am. I actually already built it. I, I have the LEGO NES. I filmed part of my video. I just need to film the rest of it. So, yes, I, I do have the LEGO NES. I bought more LEGO Mario sets that I'm going to be making videos of. So, so yes, I, ha I have all that. It's awesome. I love the LEGO NES. So, anyways, this shows you everything that's included, but we're about to get right to it anyway, so let's not waste time on that. Um... 
You have the player's guide included that shows you all the cards in the set, but I'm not going to go through it because, like, you'll, we're going to see the cards. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun little surprise. Here's the box in here. So let's, let's take this out. Pokemon is also from Nintendo. Yes, Pokemon, well, uh, Nintendo partially owns part of the Pokemon company, but not completely. So it's like a separate company, but, but, but also not. Um, so you do have a rule book. So there's that. Then here are the dice that are included, which look pretty cool. And of course your usual poison counter and all that. Uh, code card, which I do use, so sorry. Um, I do use those. You do have your card sleeves with a cool looking Eternatus design, which is, which is pretty neat. Uh, your energy, so this is giving you packs of all the energy. And by the way, for those that don't know, there is no um, no fairy energy anymore uh, in the Sword and Shield sets. I didn't realize it, but but they took away fairy energy. Um, so that's interesting. Oh, there's also these um, dividers right here, which has got that design. And then on the flip side... Oh, is that the... So this is the regular design and then the, the Gigantamax one, I guess? Do I give codes? No, I, I do not, because I use them in the, the TCG Online app. Um, and the Elite Trainer Box gives you eight booster packs. So this is the, the, the booster pack designs for Darkness Ablaze. So you have your Scorch. We have our Charizard, of course. Eternatus. And Grimmsnarl. So lots of cool cards in this set. So I'm excited to see what we end up getting. So let me, let me put some of this away. All right, so that is Darkness Ablaze. Uh, let me, you know what, I'll just, I'll leave this in the corner here just to, to have um, by our side. Um, and yeah, let's just get to these packs and then we'll open up the box, but here it is right here. All right, let me move my chair. I'm gonna alternate between sitting on a chair here or on my knees just to, cause sitting for a while just, you know, hurts after a while. Okay. Okay, so let's move the code card. One, two, three, four to the front, I believe it is. Where did I get my Super Smash Bros. wallpaper for my iPad? Uh, it was just the, uh, it was one of the, the Smash Brothers like posters they did. So I just, Goog you can probably just Google it, honestly, or it might've been from Nintendo's website directly. I can't remember. It's been a while, but. All right, so move our energy to the side. Familiar Bell. Let's see. Rose Tower. Steeny. Bunnelby. Vanillite. Gothita. Nicket. Shelmet. Reverse is a Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. And we got a Thievul. Um, I used the evil a bit in the game. It was pretty cool. What's up, Niall? How's it going? <laughs> All right. Let's move these to the side. And do I want to keep my reverse hollows anywhere? I guess I'll... Nah, I don't need to. I'll just group it all together. Favorite character in the Pokemon Indigo League animo, a anime? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really have a specific favorite. Uh, what's my favorite Lego Mario set so far? So the only thing is, I've only opened the starter course. So basically, what I did the video of, which was the starter course and the Monty Mole expansion, and then I've been. I just finished the NES, and then I, I haven't done any more sets yet. So I don't really have an answer um, for you. Um, because I, I just haven't really, uh, you know, done done too much more yet. Um, one, two, three, four. How would I rate Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, I I show okay in terms of the the TV show Yu-Gi-Oh uh, is better. Um, 
in terms of everything else, <laughs> Pokemon. I, I, I stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh! after the, the main series pretty much. So, um, definitely more of a Pokemon fan. So we got a Reverse Rare Agron. Looks really cool. I like the artwork. And a Lugia card. That's pretty cool. Just a plain old regular rare. Nice. All right. What is my next Power Rangers video, Paul? I don't know for sure 100%, but what it probably is is Lightning Collection. I probably am finally going to catch up. I have the Wave 2 video ready, actually, because uh, I know I'm very behind. And then I'm going to be filming more. My, my goal is to film a few of them and then post them, like, back-to-back, -back, because I know people have been waiting for so long. So I don't want to post Wave 2, and then everyone's like, well, where's Wave 3 and 4? So that way I can just post a bunch at once. Um, but I might just end up just posting Wave 2 soon since it's already ready. Uh, so probably that. Probably just those, those Lightning Collection videos. All right, Ferret, Flaffy, Ariados, Rookity, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Electric, Dano, Passimian, Reverse Skitty, and Galarian Surfetch. Nice. You missed my old vlogs. Can I make more? Um, well, okay, so here's the deal. One, I would love to do more vlogs. The problem is most of the vlogs, like, vlogs are not fun if it's just me. It's just me talking. That's why I can do a live stream instead, and I can talk and also talk to you all. Um, so they're more fun with other people. The problem is most of the other people in my life don't want to be in videos. So it's hard to do vlogs then if you don't have people that want to do videos. Um, so that kind of really limits what you can do. Um, oh, I forgot to get sleeves anyways. Let me just grab my sleeves real quick. Let's see. So I, so, so I, I really, I want to do more. It's just, I don't have, I don't have people to make, <laughs> you know, more of those videos with, I guess is the, uh, is the, the real, the real challenge. Um, and also like, I'm not really like going anywhere or doing anything super fun. Like it, we're staying at home, you know, like we're trying to stay safe and stuff. So there, there's not really too much that I can really show you for fun. Oh, look, I got Simi Sage and Simi Poor back to back. I wonder if I'm going to get the fire one in here. What's happening with my Power Rangers cosplay suits? I actually just got an update from them yesterday, and their update was that they don't really have any new changes and any new updates. So I have no idea. I have, I have no idea when I'm going to get my cosplay. Reverse Wimpod, a holographic Toxtricity. Ooh, that hollow pattern is actually pretty cool. It's like these like vertical lines right there, but it's, it's kind of neat looking. So there you go, Toxtricity. Oop, I just spoiled one of the cards. Galarian Darmanitan, I think it was. Oh, Darumaka, that's what I meant. Favorite sport? Uh, Quidditch. <laughs> now, I mean, I guess if I had to pick soccer, um, I don't really. I used to play when I was little, but I don't. I don't pl really play sports anymore. But uh, it's fun to watch sometimes. Houndoom V. Look at that. Our first V card for Darkness Ablaze. That is some really really cool artwork as well. Houndoom V. Look at that. Nice. All right, all right. We got three more packs from the Elite Trainer Box, and then we're going to dive into the big old booster box and just plow right through all those booster packs and see what we get. We just we got to get that Charizard is the, uh, it's the hunt. All right. Oh, that Torch Trick is so cute. Uh, Rob, what's up, Rob? Excited for Lightning Collection Zeo Red. Glad to see other female rangers finally getting attention. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. I think the In Space Yellow looks pretty cool, too. Uh, um, definitely some, uh, some nice cards there. Reverse Bird Keeper and Surfetched. 
Can I do the Lego Series 20 minifigures? Because in one of the packs is a Red Ranger minifigure. I saw that. I actually saw some of them uh, the other day when I had to pick up a couple things at Target. Um, I thought about it, but I just... It's too much, you know? It's, like, the thing is, it, there is a Red Ranger thing, kind of, like, unofficially, but but really it kind of is. Um, I just... Blind bags are annoying. And and in order to try and get it, who knows how many blind bags I'm going to have to buy. And the thing is, they have Super Mario blind bags now. And I want to get all the Super Mario Lego sets. So I just... I made the executive decision that I am just going to focus on the, the Mario Lego series. Um, it's just, it's just too much otherwise. T-Rex Buckley, I don't have, I, I don't know. I can't really answer the question yet. As of right now, I don't have anything planned, but, you know, there's still many more months left in the year, so I guess we'll, we'll wait and see. Reverse Ursa Ring and a Galarian Darmanitan. Ooh, that's a cool artwork right there. That's cool. You just had your Wisdom Tooth taken out, James. Oh, man, hope you're... Doing all right. That's. I think I have to get mine out soon. <laughs> I think I'm kind of overdue for doing that. What's up, the Everything Channel? All right, a green code card, which means we're just we're not getting a holographic in this pack. So overall, I would say this Elite Trainer box is kind of a dud. We did get a Houndoom V, but that's about it. Reverse Carnivine and a Wigglytuff. Pretty cool artwork on, on the set, for sure. Um, all right. Here we go. The one thing I will say that did kind of bug me a little bit is I know there's a couple people that do, like, you know, Pokemon unboxings is their main thing on YouTube. Um, and so they the Pokemon company sent them a bunch of Darkness Ablaze stuff uh, early, which is cool. I, I'm totally fine with that. It makes sense from a promotional standpoint. But people were making videos like a month ago, and that kind of bugged me because it's like, I get it if you want to promote the set, you know, early and, and get people hyped and all that. But like a month ago it was like, I, I just, everybody's going to watch all those videos and just be bored of the set by now. Like it's it's going to be old because it's, so, you know, so I, that kind of like bugged me a little bit. Um that, like, they were promoting the set so early just because... And that's not a knock against those creators at all. I watched their videos. It's awesome. It was just more in general, like, a, a marketing thing of, like, why would you, like, for the Pokemon company, you know, like, that early? Like, you just, you kind of, like, ruin the excitement a little bit because I've seen a lot of these cards now from other videos. Um, and so many videos, too. People are making a bunch all right, well, here is the booster box. You only watch Pokemon card content for me. Well, thank you. Um, I don't know if this is the, the best Pokemon card content out there, but I, I certainly do appreciate the sentiment. All right, look at this. We got lots of really, really cool packs. We are just going to jump right in. Thoughts on Wave 6? Um, okay, so yes, Wave 6 pre-orders are up now. Some of them, or maybe all of them by now, are sold out on Hasbro Pulse, but Amazon might still have them. So if you're interested, go check that out. I pre-ordered the whole Wave, as always. Um, and uh, I... Uh, I don't, overall, you know, I think it's it's fine. Like, it, like the Black Ranger makes sense. You've got to get a regular release. Um, In Space Yellow is cool. I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, a Goldar without wings, you know, makes sense from the standpoint of, you know, they want to be able to save money, reuse some of the same molds, but they have a couple differences with it. It's wingless and all that. Um, you do have the little winglets on the back. There's the, uh, what's the last one? Red Zio. Um, yeah, again, you know, he was in the Fighting Spirit set, right? I think, but like they got a different Tommy head. So at least they're doing something different. So yeah, I think it's fine. It's, it's passable. There's some good stuff, some okay stuff. It's, it's all fine. Um... Since when do I do Pokemon TCG? Uh, it's been a while. I mean, I don't frequently do it, but occasionally. Occasionally I do. Wait, Zeo Red is 100% new? Why am I... What am I thinking of? Maybe I'm thinking of Bandai did a Zeo Red set, right? Because I'm thinking of some set. Wasn't there a set with Zeo Red, or was that was that Bandai? Because if that's totally new, then that's, that's awesome. I, I'm honestly so behind on Lightning Collection that I... Totally could have mistaken that. Oh, Bandai did it. Okay, well then that's cool. It's then I'm glad that they did Zio Red. 
Um, so I take that back. Reverse Lugia, which is cool. And, ooh, we got a Galarian Slowbro V. Look at that. First pack magic right here. We got Galarian Slowbro V. How hot, hot is it here? Um, it's not too bad. It's like 79 degrees, I think, is, is what my watch says right now. Um, super, super cool. All right. Of course, we are on the hunt for the Charizard VMAX. This is the Japanese version, but I'm trying to get the English card Charizard VMAX. Let's see if we can pull that today. <clears throat> what four figures would I want in a wave? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, four figures that I would want in a wave. I would want a Hyper Force character. I, I don't really know which one. I guess I would be fine with any. Um, I, I'm thinking if I could pick anything, I would just, you know, go with, like, the off-the-wall stuff. Maybe, like, an Omega Ranger from the comics. Um, going with, like... Uh, Maybe a lightning collection figure of, like, a battleized Power Ranger. You know, like, something like that would be super cool. Um, I don't know. I'm just a bunch of stuff. Um, let's please not spam the chat. Uh, I've already answered your question. Okay. Nothing in that. What if they made a Weedle? EX? I assume you mean the V cards? Well, I guess you could say never say never, but in general, they usually go with, like, the evolution, so it would be more like a Beedrill V card, uh, not, not Weedle. But, I mean, never say never. Billowing smoke. Turbo patch. Oh, you mean... You, oh, you truly mean EX card. Well, they're, they're not making any more EX cards, but uh, that would be interesting. Arctozolt. These Pokemon are funny. Cool concept that they had in the games. Am I excited for the DLC, like for Pokemon? Um, so, I mean, I yes, but I also haven't played much recently. I actually haven't played the, uh, what is it, the Isle of Armor DLC that released. I bought it all. I just haven't played it yet. Um... So I, I still need to play that first. Uh, so I'm, I'm just kind of behind. I haven't had too much time to, to play lots of games lately. Just life has been, has been busy. And in a few months, y'all, the video content on this channel is going to be a little light for a little while because we're, you know, we got, we got a baby on the way, inshallah. So, I mean... Uh, that's obviously going to be the the priority. Uh, the channel's not going away, um, but we will adjust. And you know, if if things are busy, the 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 content will just be a little bit slower. But then things will pick up at some point, and we'll just we'll continue to have these discussions. I think live streams are easy because it saves me time because I don't have to edit. So certainly, you know, being able to do a live stream would be nice. But we'll see. We'll we'll. Just play it by ear and see how it all goes. Cape of Toughness. All right. Ah, oh, those green code cards are, like, so disappointing to see, you know, because you just know you're not getting a, a hollow card in there. Dino Thunder White makes me sad as in the figure. I agree. Dino Thunder White is one of my favorite uh, Power Ranger suits. And, gosh, the missing black paint on that helmet just looks so bad. I know people are like, but you can take a marker to it. Yeah, but that's not, like, that shouldn't be on us, right? Like, I've never customized a figure before. Um, just, I just don't. I just, I just don't like to just because, you know, if I, in the future I want to do a comparison or something, it's no longer the original thing. Um, and so it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, 
it just sucks. It, it's, it's just not good. Let's just put it that way. It's just not good. Now, am I going to buy it? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Um, but I will certainly, in my inevitable review, uh, I will say how disappointed I am with it. Um, because it just, that's just, uh, so I might just stick with the Trent head and like, you know, put the helmet away and just do that. So that way it's not as bad looking. Okay. Reverse semi seer and Del Caddy. <sighs> Draken looks really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So the especially the new the new what, Evo three Draken with like the the damaged helmets and stuff definitely looks really really cool. There's a few figures that they need to like you know really officially get more stuff out there. But um, but yeah, I mean that that one definitely looks really cool. Reverse Skitty and Galarian Darmanitan. Okay. What is the green Pokeball used for? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you talking about this? The green card? So these have codes on them on the other side that you, you can input into the app. There's a Pokemon trading card game online app. Uh, for like, you know, PC and Mac and also iPad. Not iPhone, unfortunately. Oh, no? Uh, then which, which green Pokeball are you referring to? I don't, I don't know which one you're talking about. Okay. Favorite Power Rangers movie? I don't know. It's a toss-up between the original Mighty Morphin and the new Mighty Morphin. Um, the original Mighty Morphin is just so classic and fun. But the new Mighty Morphin like, has got such great characters. and Yeah. Turbo's Turbo, but, you know, um, it's, it's okay. In the beginning of Pokemon anime, a trainer spawned Onyx and a green Pokeball. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly, but I believe a great ball is green, maybe. Or is that blue? I don't remember. It might be blue. Um, I think it is blue, actually. So, I don't know. It might be a different Pokeball. There's there's different kinds. Um, we got a white code card. Dusk Ball. Yeah, maybe it's the Dusk Ball. Uh, let's see what holographic we got in this set. Or in this pack. Great Ball's blue. That's right, yeah. You got the Gaburi Caliber as well? Nice. Semi Seer. <gasps> Rhyperior V! Check that out. Look at that. Rhyperior V. Just getting a bunch of regular... So these two were in the booster box, and then this one in the Elite Trainer box, but just plain V cards, which is fine. Um, and I'm glad we haven't gotten duplicates yet, but, like, what about the full arts? What about the um, the VMAX, you know? Like, I want the goods. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Uh, depending on how we do with this pack, well, let's see. Let's see. I was about to say I might consider doing the second booster box today, also, depending on how we do on time. Um, if I don't get anything good, but we'll see. Dracovish. I think this was the first combo that I did uh, in the game. Maybe. I can't remember. Did I know that Brennan Mejia has a YouTube channel? Yeah. I, uh, I think I'm subscribed to it. I 
I always see people ask and tell you about how you're behind on Amiibo unboxings. I know, I'm behind on a bunch of stuff. Um, Y'all, the thing is, I, I, I say this over and over, I sound like a broken record. Life is busy, right? Like I have, this is not my full-time job. I do this for fun. Um, and so I have other things that are that are just more important and more more pressing that I need to, to get to. That's not that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. I, I bought the stuff. I have the amiibo. They're sitting like literally a few feet away from me. Um, I have every Smash Brothers amiibo that has been released, and I've pre-ordered everything that is available for pre-order. And the same thing goes for Lightning Collection. I have all of the released figures, and everything that's available for pre-release has been pre-release has been or pre-ordered rather. Um, so it's just a matter of time for me to sit down and make the videos. Um, and certain things I, I just prioritize, like some, uh, some of the lightning collection role play stuff. Those are some bigger items and I needed to make some more space. So I had to, you know, make those videos sooner. Um, so it just, it just all depends. So, um, I know I'm sorry for people that like those videos and like want to see them ASAP. Um, I just, I can't do things super quickly. Um, it's just not possible with my schedule, but but I, I will get around to it. I, I own the stuff, so they're, they're sitting here unboxed. I definitely have it. In fact, um, hi, Dragon. Let me show you real quick what I'm talking about, okay? Look, you see this right here? Uh, I mean, there's like other stuff too. There's some new Fortnite things. Um, but underneath here, the Beast Morphers figures that have been sitting around, there's a ton of Lightning Collection stuff behind all that, like under under the table there. Uh, a bunch of Lightning Collection stuff. Um, I do have that Super Train Megazord, the Mini Plaw. So like, I have it all, guys. It's it's all there. The Amiibo are, are somewhere back there. Oh no, here's, here's one of them. See? They're, they're all here. Um, it just, I just need to make the videos. So I promise it, it will happen at some point. Oops. I'm knocking stuff over. If you ever have kids, you don't even have to buy toys again. Well, we are uh, gonna have a kid soon. Um, but uh, unfortunately, not quite how it works. <laughs> I mean, who's to say, you know, our kid may not like, uh, may not like Power Rangers, um, you know, like, and that's totally fine, right? Like, so. Tapu Coco Holographic. Yeah, it's a lot of boxed items. It's, I mean, it's it's a lot of, it's mostly Lightning Collection and Beast Morphers figures and then just a couple Amiibo. That's pretty much mostly what it is. Um, I just, you know, just have to get around to finally opening them. So in the next couple months, I all, what I can say is my goal is um, by October to have those videos done. Uh, so this month, next month, like I, I, I'm in a position now where I can finally start getting back to doing videos. Um, in fact, you know what, after I, let me, let's go through this pack real quick and let me show you what I've been working on, uh, with the shelves and stuff. And so you'll, you'll have a better understanding of what I'm trying to do. <gasps> Ooh, Eternatus V, look at that. Nice, so it's it's not a VMAX still, it's just another regular V card, um, but it's nice. I'm glad I did get it, because I, I do want to pull both, the V and VMAX. So that is awesome. Super, super cool looking card. Check that out. All right, let's take a quick detour, folks, and uh, let me show you what I've been working on, because it's finally, it's finally at a place where it's pretty much ready. Um, so let me show you what I've been doing. So there's the desk I was talking about. All the stuff is going to go away. But check this out. This is my storage. So everyone always asks me, like, where are my Power Rangers toys? Where are anything else that I own, right? This is it. This is my storage. Um, 
I had to like label stuff because I couldn't remember where things are, but it's Power Rangers, Sentai, Marvel Legends, there's my Disney Infinity figures, my Pokemon cards are over there. Uh, this is my whole storage. Um, this is where everything is. So people ask me to like, oh, where are your old Power Rangers things? Can you show me this or whatever? Like they're in big boxes. So I have to go in and like find the stuff and get it out. Like it's not super easy, um, but it's, it's, all, it's all here. Um, and so as you can see, there's not much space here, right? Left over. Um, so if I want to collect more things, people are like, why don't you get into Common Rider? Why don't you, you know, buy Beyblades or something else? Where? Where is it going to go? Tell me. T tell me where I fit it. There's, there's no space. So what I have to do, if I decide to buy something new, I have to get rid of something, right? So I can get rid of a box, and then I have space for a new box of things. So that's kind of going forward. My philosophy is whatever I want to buy, is it worth me getting rid of something I already own? Because I don't have space for more, so I have to get rid of things to make space for new things. Um, it's the most organized thing you've seen in your whole life. This took me a long, long time uh, to do. So, And this is not all. So that's one project. So here's the uh, the latest project that, uh, that I've been doing. And so this, you might have seen a slight sneak peek if you watch recent videos of mine. All right, but here, just to, to kind of mention, um, by the way, this is my, like the main TV where I would like do gaming and stuff. Um, but so I don't know if I've shown that in a video, but this is my new and improved uh, display area right here. We're gonna set up a projector um, screen and stuff here, but this is, I, I used to have a couple shelves and I've shown that before, but I added even more shelves. So that I've been really working on that. You might've seen some of this in the background before. Asking about my Smash Brothers Amiibo, here they are. Here's all my Smash Brothers Amiibo. Here's all the other Amiibo. As you can see, like not much more space here. Uh, the Kira Major stuff that I got recently. Heroes of the Grid, uh, Boom Studios, Power Rangers comics, and other books here. Uh, Hogwarts Express Lego set, uh, Star Wars shelf that just some figures fell over and need to properly organize. This is just random. I may change this out with something, but for now it's got Beast Morphers figure arts. Oh, I have a, one, one fell down. And Draken on the throne. Um, this is our Mighty Morphin shelf with the Mighty Morphin figure arts and minifigures and the thing. Power Morphers. Once I get the Lightning Collection uh, Walmart one, I'm going to put that there as well. Um, this is my uh, uh, display of roleplay items. This is actually the, the Legacy Dragon Dagger, but I use the Lightning Collection stand, uh, which is what I talked about uh, in my review of that. Other random ones, these might eventually go into boxes, and I might put something else here, but just some random Megazords and Mini Pla as well. I got the Astro Delta Megazord Mini Pla. I don't make videos of my Mini Pla because it's just... It's just not as fun to do because it just requires building. So, but but I have it here. So just to mention, um, Titanus, some the black and gold versions of some Megazords, other random stuff, Nintendo Labo, uh, Funko Pop figures, uh, the Mighty Morphin Movie Funko Pop figures with the coins, uh, video games. So my Switch shelf and Xbox One and PS4 got PS3, Wii, Wii U, 360, so older games and CDs. My movie shelf, this is like my Marvel movie shelf, and I left space for future Marvel movies. Other movies and things, more movies and TV shows and more of those. And then on the corner there is like just video game controllers and things. My Joy-Cons are on the shelf back there, Switch Pro controllers. Um, this is the new shelf that we've just been setting up, so it's still not fully ready. I might move some stuff around, but this is the Legacy 20-year uh, DVD set of Power Rangers uh, with the DVDs. Older video game systems connected. There's some projectors there, just board games and things. I uh, got a record player. Uh, my Wii U is right there. This is the Lego Mario shelf. So this is where I filmed my video that I showed of the recent Lego Mario set. So it's all here. Once I build more sets, this is going to be a huge display with all the Lego Mario sets kind of connected here. Uh, Lego NES right here. Uh, so for people asking about it, I bought it. It's right here. I just have to film my video of it, so that's coming soon. 
the Lego Mario sets that I bought that I haven't opened yet. So once I open it, this these shelves, these two together, are going to be my Lego Mario, Lego display shelves. Other random, you know, controller accessories and things that I put up top there. And yeah. So, oh, and up here, I guess I just threw... Uh, Lightning Collection Red Ranger helmet used to be the Legacy one, but I replaced it after I got Lightning Collection. There's the Spider-Man Hot Toys figure that I got, the the two gauntlets uh, that I did a video of. Yeah, I mean, kind of stuffed in the corner here because I didn't have space is the Power Sword and the Gold Ranger Zeo staff and my uh, uh, Star Wars lightsabers because um, they didn't really have much other space. But that's really it. So... As you can see, that, that has been my project. I, I might do like another video, to be honest, like doing a tour of all that pretty soon. But for you guys on the live stream, uh, because you're watching, I wanted to give you a little sneak peek. I have my bright lights here. I don't want to shine in your face. So to answer your questions, that's what I've been busy with. Uh, and, and lots of other stuff too, beyond what you're seeing with storage, because we're doing a lot of, you know, stuff for the baby and other things. So this is just my stuff that I'm trying to organize and uh, and get together. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Like this this has taken a long time to do. Um, it is exhausting and it's, it's, there's just so much here. Uh, somebody asked about Super Sentai uh, as well. Real quick and then I'm going to get back to Pokemon because we, we need to finish the Pokemon. Oh, and I still have my Parenting Movie poster. Um, on my storage shelf here... This is my Q Ranger stuff. They actually kept had this on the package, so I just left that there as my label. But that's my Q Ranger stuff. Uh, and then th I just have my uh, Ryu Soldier stuff there, Tokyuger stuff in here. Uh, that's my Common Rider build stuff that I had. And I think that's just Common Rider uh, uh, Geo. And then this is my other Super Sentai stuff. Like I had a couple things from Nin Ninja, my uh, Ranger Keys, uh, the Mobirates from Gokaiger. Um, so most of that is either from mostly image anime, uh, a couple things I've gotten from Amazon, a couple things from CS Toys, uh, maybe something from HLJ once. So it's just kind of, you know, it, it varies. So. so we'll see. So as of now, all that stuff is staying, but we'll see in the future, you know, if I decide to get other things, we'll, we'll swap stuff out or we'll, we'll see what happens, right? So, okay. Back to the Pokemon unboxing. <laughs> uh, let me flip it. Okay. So, I, I think I might do a full tour later. I, that was kind of. I think. I think that will help answer people's questions because I get those types of questions a lot. Um, but I just have a few last-minute things that I want to add to the shelves or readjust a little bit. And then I will probably do a full video. So maybe in the next week or so, you might actually see a full video of that on my channel. Um, so just, uh, you know, keep an eye out for that. That might be fun to do. So thank you for that idea. You want to ask for a while now, but I want to know what is fun about collecting? Oh, that's a good question. What is fun about collecting? Um, I guess it depends on what I'm collecting, but it's, it's, it varies, right? Like, like, let's talk about Pokemon cards. I don't try and get all the cards. I, I just don't need to. But there's certain cards in the set that I think look really cool. So I, I just want to get them and have them on display or something. Or in a binder. Or, you know, like, it'd be, it'd be fun to get. Like, Charizard VMAX is going to go in a binder if I get it, right? Uh, Power Rangers, um, you know, I guess in a way is kind of similar. But it's like, I can relate to these characters, right? Like, I watch the show and there's a lot to appreciate about it. Uh, same with Amiibo, right? Like, Amiibo, it's cool to, like, the display shelf. It, like, represents so many different characters from Nintendo history. And I have these little figures here to kind of show. So it's it's just it's just a cool way to connect with the things that you love or have on display. It's like, um, I don't know. I, I really I, I don't know exactly what it is about, it, but it's just, you know, I, I collect things that have some meaning to me, right? Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons isn't so much of a meaning thing, so that, that one's kind of different. That's just more... Ooh, Crobat V! That looks cool. Uh, with the Switch Joy-Cons, it's just more like, I love when they do colored controllers, and I just... I don't know, I just had this idea in my head like when they started releasing, and I was like, let me just get all the colors, and then I just kept up with it. it that's just one of those things. Like, if I... 
If there were a couple colored controllers that were released that I never bought, then I would probably like not care as much about collecting because I wouldn't have the full set, you know? So it's just, it's weird. I, I really, I don't know if I've answered your question because I don't fully know the answer myself. There's just something about it that, uh, it's a way for me to share my passions with you all when I make videos, right? Because that's first what I do. Uh, the majority of the stuff that I collect, I make videos of. Um, and then just for me to have it in, in one spot so I can go back and like reminisce about things. And, you know, they, they all have just special meanings. I remember certain times in my life when, oh, oh snap. <laughs> uh, look at that. What? Rainbow Rare Eternatus. V Max. That is going in a sleeve right away. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know they had a rainbow version of Eternatus. Um, wow. I know there's not a rainbow Charizard. I know that. But like this is the, you know, one of the main ones on the set. Rainbow Eternatus. Wow. That is, I am totally satisfied. Even if I don't get the Charizard, I'm happy. Like, that's, because I didn't even know this was a thing, but it's beautiful. I love the way they did the rainbow cards. They have such an amazing texture to them. And this is just, gosh, look at that. Like, that's so beautiful. That's so cool. Wow. I don't even know what I was talking about, and I don't care, because this is just, this This is it. This is, this is every, wow. That, that's amazing. That is super, super cool. Eternatus. VMAX Rainbow Rare. Um, yeah, the Rainbow, they don't have a Rainbow version of this Charizard VMAX. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Charizard's super popular, so it's kind of surprising. But I think in Japan they might have, but in the U.S. they did not. I know that for sure. Um, in this set specifically I'm talking about. I know they've had other Rainbow ones in the past. And the thing about Charizard is, like, I, I, never, I never got the Hidden Fates Charizard. And now I can't find Hidden Fates anymore. I think I think that time is over. I, I've kind of given up on that. Um, I bought a bunch of Hidden Fates, and I just I never could get the Charizard. Um, and I know you can just go online and probably buy it, but like it's not the same. I don't I don't need the Charizard just to have for the sake of having, if that makes sense, right? I I want the Charizard to say like, oh, I pulled that, and then I save it because it's kind of fun in in that way. Salamence V, nice. So, so I don't know. My, my luck with Charizards is not great. So I, I may not get that Charizard VMAX, but I am totally satisfied with the Rainbow Rare Eternatus VMAX. You don't have great internet. Oh, man. Has there ever been a time where you looked at something and you're like, um, where did this come from? Actually, I just had that moment. I, I just had that moment. And uh, I'll tell you what it was. Um... Do I have it nearby? No, I think I put it away. Um, Pokemon Red version. Pokemon Red version, the original for, for Game Boy. I don't know where it came from. My sister had some video games somewhere she found, and she gave me her a little bag of, of the games. So it's mostly, excuse me, it's mostly her games. Um, awesome Adam from 2099, thank you. Uh, you can't see it right now because I have bright lights shining, but my uh, my lights are blinking because um, I set that up for Super Chat. So so thank you for that, Adam. That's awesome. I appreciate that, man. Um, but yeah, so so I, I don't know if my... How... I, I don't know where that red Pokemon Red came from because I got Pokemon Blue. Growing up, I remember, you know, deciding and I was like... I, I think I'm gonna get the blue version because blue is my favorite color. And I, at the time, I was like, I heard red versions harder, so I don't want that. Uh, so I got I got Pokemon Blue. I grew up playing Pokemon Blue. I had no idea that I had Pokemon Red. I totally forgot. So I, I'm I'm legitimately very confused about that. Um, but I have it apparently. Um, just now. <laughs> so. But for the most part, no. For the most part, like, I'll see things and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that, you know? It's very rare for me to look at something and be like, what? I had that? Because I, the things I buy, like, I associate so many memories with these things, right? So, um, 
so I th- that's rare for me, but that just happened. So that that's kind of funny. I I haven't I still have no idea. I don't remember playing Pokemon Red, but I I guess I had it. I don't I don't know. It's so weird. And like the thing is, I don't think my sisters played it because they didn't have a Game Boy Color, and I don't think they used mine too much. Uh, we did have a Game Boy Advance that they might have been using sometimes, so, like, maybe they played it on the Game Boy Advance, but, uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm confused. I'm confused. I want to have your opinion. Do you think I should get the Player 1 and 2 Amiibos when I can? I, you know, it's up to you. Like, I think... If if you're trying to collect every amiibo that they've released, um, then you know you you might as well try and see see what you can do. Um, if there's a certain character you like, or maybe there's a certain pose that you like better between those characters, get that. Um, it, it's really just up to what what you would like to collect. I I think all the amiibo look pretty cool, um, and I think it's totally fine to just buy the ones for characters you like. You know, you don't have to buy all of them. You don't that's it's crazy to, to to try and do that especially now because you're gonna have to go online on ebay and stuff to buy some of the older amiibo and the prices on those things are probably pretty high so if now you're trying to collect all of them like you're gonna be spending a ton of money a ton of money um so you know it just it just kind of depends on what you're you're trying to accomplish mew v nice so this is one I forgot about it until just now. There's a couple of uh, YouTubers that were opening Darkness Ablaze sets early, and like they were all pulling the Charizard V Max and everything, and and uh, but Mew, they're like, we can't pull the Mew, we want Mew, and yet I pulled Mew, but no Charizard. Um, but that's cool, yay Mew. So this is this is a card that's definitely sought after in the set. People people want the Mew, which which is makes sense. I mean Mew is is great. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied so far with the pulls that we've gotten. You want to do what I do by collecting all of them? I mean, if, if you have the money for it uh, and the space, because it's, it's a lot of figures, um, you know, I mean, you can try. Just just be prepared that it's, it's going to be quite difficult uh, and expensive right now to go back and get all of them. It's, it's, there's, there's a lot of characters and a lot of amiibo and... Uh, um, it's just, it's going to be a little, a little tough. Did I lose power from the storm last week? Uh, I didn't, I don't think we lost power from that. There was a, a few days ago we lost power for like four or five minutes. Um, I don't think there was a storm outside at that point, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we lost power from the storm. Not that I can remember. Reverse Talon Flame, Arctovish. Doesn't even get a hollow. Just a plain old rare. All right. Yeah, that's what these live streams are all about, just to hang out and have fun. Senta Scorch V, nice. I'm I'm kind of impressed at how many V cards I'm getting and uh, no duplicates so far, but just I'm getting like all the V cards pretty much. Uh, we'll do a recap at the end, but that's super cool. All right, since I'm getting close to the end of this box, I'm going to ask this question to you all. Should I open my second box of cards right now, or should I do another live stream maybe in a few days for the rest? Now, if I do open the second box, I'm going to have to cruise through it pretty quickly because I'm going to eat dinner soon. So it's going to be a quick unboxing. Um, so, so let me know in the chat right now what you think. 
it's gonna be like what I'm doing right now, like this speed, basically, of just kind of zooming through unless I get something good. Should I do my other box right now? All right, we got one vote for no. Kangaskhan Hollow. I think you should do it in a few days, but the choice is yours. Okay. Oh, one vote for right now. <coughs> you know what? I think I think I'll wait. I, I think I'll wait it out. <gasps> Scizor V Max. Look at that full art right there. Look at that. Oh, that's such a beautiful card. Scizor V Max. Look at those colors. Oh, man. Look at these pulls. We've been getting some great cards. Wow. That is awesome. Now I have to get regular Scizor V. Ah, oh, full arts in the set look great as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait. I'll wait for the second second one. That way we can do another live stream in a few days or something. Maybe Sunday evening. No promises. Um, but if not, then early next week. <laughs> Reverse Skarmory and Excelior. We have six packs left. I don't think we're going to get that Charizard because we've gotten two VMAX cards, one being a rare. So I have a feeling the rest of these are just going to be plain old regular rares, maybe just regular holographics, but I, I don't expect any more VMAX cards. We've gotten a bunch, actually. But you never know. Maybe we'll get surprised here. But I'm pretty satisfied with, with the pulls that we got. My favorite starter in Alola. Which, which I always get them mixed up. Which ones are the Alola starters again? What's one thing that is frustrating about losing space? Um, well, I guess it's that, you know, I can't just continue to collect anything that I, that I want to, I guess. Um... You kind of have to just really manage things a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, it just it just kind of depends. Poplio, Litten, and Rowlet. Oh, uh, Rowlet. I chose Rowlet uh, as my starter. Because um, I like the evolution, Decidueye. Brother chose Rella too. Nice. All right, final three packs. I say we save the Charizard one for last. There is also a Senta Scorch V Max card that looks really cool. I I like Senta Scorch. Um, I would love to pull that, especially since I pulled the regular Senta Scorch V. I would love to pull the V Max card. So to everybody watching, um, you know, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for all the content that I have coming on the way, but make sure you hit the notification bell as well so that when I do these live streams, you are notified. You don't want to miss it. I got something shiny in the back there, y'all. Oh my gosh. What in the world? I literally was just talking about this. I, I Did I not just say that? Sent to Scorch VMAX. I, I just... I just said that. 
What? And, and, and what? Another VMAX? I've gotten three VMAXs in this box. Wh what? I don't... What is happening? I don't even know what is... What? Oh my gosh. Okay, we are going to do a recap at the end here. Um, cause that, what? There's a lot happening in this box. This is a really cool set. Man, if in my next box I pull that Charizard, like, I'm done. I'm set with Darkness Ablaze. Like, I've, I've done it all. You know, like, there's nothing else that I could want. Unless, I guess, is there, is the regular Charizard V? I assume is in the set too. So I, I probably need to pull regular Charizard V as well as the V Max. Um, watch me pull the, no, this is a green code card. I was about to say, watch me pull it now. Um, but it's a green code card, so there's there's no hollow in here. Mimi Q. All right, final pack. Are we gonna have some last pack magic here for this Charizard pack right here? Darkness. If if the V Max is in here, then something is is like wrong in, in the best way possible, because there's no way I'm gonna have four V Maxes in a box. Charizard V is more likely, but even more likely is nothing. White code card. We get at least a holographic. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, man. Maybe maybe this is something. Maybe. Oof. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? It's probably just a regular holographic. That It has to be, right? I can't get another V card. There's no way. There's no way. It's too many. Too many. Reverse Grand Bull. Yeah, it's it's not a, a V card, of course, because otherwise that'd be too many. Blaziken. Oh, I do love Blaziken. Torchic, Combusken, Blaziken. Like, that's one of my favorite starter lines. Really cool card. Nice. All right, yeah, let's count how many I got. So, first of all, I got the Houndoom in the Elite Trainer box. So, I don't, I'm going to put that to the side. But I got Galarian, Galarian Slowbro V. So, that's one. Rhyperior V, 2. Eternatus V, 3. Crobat V, 4. Uh, Salamence V, 5. Mew V, 6. Scorch V, 7. Okay? Let, let, let's... In one box, 7 V cards. Okay? But that's not all. That's not all. I got 2... Full art VMAX cards, not a regular VMAX anywhere here, two full art VMAX cards, and a rainbow rare VMAX card. Those are just incredible pulls. Usually, I think what happens from my recollection is you may get like two VMAX cards, but like one of them is probably... Um, uh, like, I would expect maybe if you get three VMAX cards to have two regular VMAX cards and one full art or something like that, right? Not two full arts and a rainbow. And then I feel like you get five or six V cards, but there's seven? Like, maybe? I, unless, you know, I'm just remembering wrong, or maybe they changed the pull rates for Darkness Ablaze, or maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. But these are some amazing, amazing pulls for uh, the one box and then Houndoom from there. No duplicates at all. Um... Wow, this is just fantastic. So hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for, in a, in a couple days, we got another booster box that we're going to be opening to see what we get. Uh, hopefully we get that that Charizard VMAX card in English. Um, regular VMAXs are always full art. Are they always full art? Maybe, okay, maybe that's why. Maybe I'm misremembering. You know what? I take that back. You're completely right. I'm an idiot. These are not full art, or like, or I guess when I say full art, so these are full art. I guess what I'm trying to say, which I, I'm wrong about, is there are ultra rare cards that are like, they look different uh, than this. Um, but actually, the ultra rares are V cards, now that I think about it. I don't think there's ultra rare VMAX. VMAX are, is always full art. So you're right, you're actually completely correct. Um, so the VMAX thing probably isn't that surprising, except for the fact that I did get a rainbow, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the amount of V cards is, to me, a little surprising. Um, but we'll see. One more box. Maybe that Charizard's in there. We'll find out. Thank you all so much for sticking with me through this. Um, I appreciate it. Take care, as always. And uh, I will see you later. Bye.